Hello, lovely viewers. You're watching Bipolar Opposite. I'm your guy, Tim Cohen. Today, I be telling you that I was afraid of Waka when I got him. Well, now, those who don't know, I mean, I talk about him almost every episode, but Waka is my bearded dragon. Now, when I first got him, well, I was afraid. I love him now. We have such a good relationship. He's a good son. I take good care of him. He's very easy to take care of. But, when I got him, I mean, yes, I wanted to be the dragon. You know, I saw him and he wanted to be my son. So I'm like, okay, okay, I'll be your daddy and everything. But, you know how you go with something and then you get the now what moment? You wanted something so bad. You get it. Now what? Well, that's how it was with Waka. Now, when they first put that tiny little guy in my hand, I freaked out. Now, why was that? Well, I'd never handled a reptile before. I'd never even touched one, except for the one time I touched a dead snake. But that never had any contact with a reptile before. So this was completely new to me. And just this tiny little thing, I have a very firm grip. I was afraid, <clears throat> I was afraid I'd squeeze too hard and smush the little thing. It scared me. It really, really scared me. I mean, I wanted him, and I didn't want to hurt him. So, but I think one of the only reasons why I was afraid of Walker was because before I got him, I wanted a dog. So it's almost like a step down at the time. It's not. I admit it was not a step down. It was a very good step. But I think what scared me most was little spikes. I mean, you look at those, and you say, Oh shit, I touched him and hold him, that's gonna hurt. Because he got those little spikes. But you know something? That was not what I thought it would feel like. His little spikes are soft. They don't hurt. Unless he's scared or angry. Then he sticks them out and they hurt. But, the little guy, no. He just, he doesn't get aggressive. I mean, he, I wasn't sure what his temperament would be. I guess I'd never owned a reptile before, so I didn't know how a reptile would act. I know if he'd be loving or angry, bite, hiss, whatever. I didn't know what he would do. I was afraid of that. I was afraid of saying, okay, I don't know what he's going to do. I was just so scared I didn't know what to do. I mean, I did not know proper beardy care. I admit it. So, I took him home. Now, what if he's not good for me? What if I kill him by accident? You know, I don't treat him right. I don't take care of him. I don't feed him. I mean, just all the things. The 12 hours light. 12 hours of dark. All the things. I just thought, I'm not going to be a good beardy dad. But you know what? That little guy right there? Right now, he's looking at me like the most wonderful thing in all creation. So, you know something? It took me forever to get used to handling him. I didn't want to hold him at first. You know, I just, I didn't know what to do. So, I'd freak out. You know, maybe I'd open up the cage and go pet him quickly, and that was it. But, I was afraid. Now, though, I hold him every day. He loves cuddles. But only briefly. Only briefly. I'll hold him like that. Then I'll start digging in because you got those little tch -tch 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 nails. But you know, all these years later, three years later, I say, why was I so scared of that little guy? I am so good at taking care of him. He loves me. He's like me, like in those wonderful in all creation. So, you know what? Obviously, I'm doing I'm doing right. So, yes, I admit my deepest shame that I was afraid of Waka. But you know something? I've gone way past that. And I'm proud of myself for that. And I got a good little man. So, Almost kind of like postpartum depression. It was male postpartum lizard depression. Hmm. That's a new one. Sometimes I'm coming. Out.